Welcome to AC TV from Barcelona, 22 uh, Congress. I'm Marc Ferrini from uh, France, Lyon, and uh, I represent here the CCP New EU Journal. And I have the, the pleasure and the honor to meet to, today with uh, Professor Franz Weidinger from Vienna, that is the new president of the EC. So Professor Weidinger, I'd like to, uh, first of all, congratulations and thank you to be with us. And uh, I'd like to uh, know what is your feeling, what are the, the challenges that we, are, we will be faced, we the society will be faced to during the, the next future? Well, thank you, Mark, for this opportunity to talk to you uh, about this. Uh, the challenges are, of course, uh, numerous. As we emerge from the uh, difficult years of pandemic, now we want to reconnect to work together again more closely. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is to convince, uh, you know, many stakeholders, policymakers, that cardiovascular disease is not a problem that has been solved. Despite our success to reduce mortality in, in the last 60 years, we st it's still the number one uh, uh, cause of death worldwide. So we have to uh, increase measures to be taken to reduce that risk uh, of, of cardiovascular disease. That is on the rise in middle-income countries compared to high-income countries. So it's, it's really a worldwide problem that we as ESC have to address. So prevention is still high on the agenda. And we have new risk factors that we also have to address. Environmental risk, air pollution has been recognized as a, as a new risk factor. So I think the scope is expanding on what we can do and what we should do in terms of cardiovascular risk of reduction. And we also have to train and educate young cardiologists in this direction to, to really raise the attention that more has to be done uh, to explore the causes for these uh, developments and uh, to get organized uh, in a way that we also obtain good data to have in hand to raise the awareness of politicians and those people that we need mm -hmm. to fight uh, cardiovascular disease and to fulfill our mission. And do you think that uh, registries, for instance, are something that will be, data uh, yeah. setting will be important for the society? Yes, data are definitely important. We do have uh, a um, epidemiological activity, which is the ESC Atlas, which provides uh, data on cardiovascular disease and inequalities uh, and gaps uh, in, in delivering healthcare in our big global community. But we also need registry data, that's clear, but we have to recognize the difficulty in achieving this because many countries do not have mandatory registries. So we have to raise the interest of our uh, doctors and colleagues to provide data, you know, and to put in data. We need high quality data but there are new ways of doing this, and this we want to explore in the near future. And that's uh, the, maybe the reason of the, my next question, yes. uh, that is uh, dear to my heart as a representative of a cardiology uh, practice. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your vision, and what is that you, in your mind the role of the general cardiologist in the next cardiology that will be very specialized, right. uh, more and more specialized? Yes. Good question. So subspecialization is something that we uh, have been seeing and to evolve in the, in the last uh, 20 years. So this is a fact. But I do see a, a very important role of, of the general cardiologist. Why? Because our patients become more complex, uh, older, uh, with more and more uh, comorbidities. So there has to be uh, a, a group of cardiologists who, who know, you know, the, the whole story of the patient. The patient will come back from the specialist who provide the care that the patient needs in terms of arrhythmia or coronary interventions, but then there has to be the general cardiologist who explains the problem to the patient that he may have after being in the hospital or even in the hospital. It, it is important because, you know, the heart team approach, for example, when it comes to the question does this patient need open heart surgery? Uh, the heart team approach should definitely include 
a non-interventional cardiologist, which probably is the general cardiologist, who, who informs the patient and who helps to find the right treatment decision for a given patient. Yes. Thank you for, for your intervention, Franz. We are very uh, proud to have you with us. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your journal. Thank you very much. Bye -bye.